hey guys welcome back to another video this is the set we're creating today i'm sure you've seen it on the thumbnail i cannot wait to show you guys how i created this one let's get into it so off camera i quickly stuck on my tips um these are by blingo these are such nice long square tips and i quickly wanted to show you guys the the packaging so that if you bump into them you definitely get them i recommend um yeah they're written press on soft tip i think they wanted to say i think they mean like when you, you press them on because yeah i thought initially they meant press ons but i think they mean you press them on when you <laughs> when you apply glue the only thing i didn't like is this package that it comes in because it's hard to open every time i fear that i'm gonna drop them and they're just gonna go everywhere but besides that these are so nice and they are big okay the zero is huge if you struggle to find a nail size that works for you these are perfect but yeah very happy with these again yeah i do recommend so now i'm grabbing my file and i'm basically just removing the shine off of the nail and i'm also just tapering them a bit just bringing the sides a little bit in so that they complement my nail This is how they looked after I removed the shine and we are pretty much ready to go at this point with the application. I quickly went off um, and mixed some pastel colors. I do not have pastel colors in gel and as you notice, um, the, the mint and the pink, I kind of mixed two shades so that, yeah, because I wasn't quite sure which one I wanted to go in. I am using the gel technique to ombre this set instead of doing instead of using acrylic because um, I just thought yeah this this technique is a bit quicker um, and it's also very beginner friendly. And I'm kind of just fanning it out by the end because sometimes I've noticed if I leave a straight line there, it will be hard to cover up with the acrylic when I'm doing ombre. So yeah, I went ahead and applied the rest of the colors for the rest of the nails and I cured in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. I went off camera and, up and applied matte top coat on all the nails just to protect that gel because I wasn't really sure how the monomer would react um, on the bare gel itself so I didn't want to take a chance. So I quickly just wanted to show you guys that I just had to customize the color that I ended up going with. I just mixed my regular polymer with a more pigmented one and which is the one in the center and I came up with the one at the end and this is how they looked. So I'm going right in starting with my ombre. As always I'm placing my bead right by the cuticle and I'm pointing my nail down allowing a gravity to just assist me and this went on really really well. Only thing is yeah it was kind of hard to ombre on top of the yellow. I think because it's a bright color it kind of shows off but other than that it was a very smooth and easy process to do i went ahead and did the rest of my nails off camera just to save some time but for the index finger i just wanted to show you guys how it went on
So this is how the nails look afterwards. As you can see, the structure is terrible because at this point, we're not really focusing on the structure. We were just building a nice thin ombre. Now we're going to go in and build the structure with the clear um, acrylic. I'm using the Kiss acrylic powder, which came in a kit I reviewed. And if you're curious to see how that went, go um, into my channel and click on this video um, and you can check that out. But for now, um, I was very happy with this acrylic by Kiss Nails. It went on perfectly. So like I mentioned, at this point I'm building up the apex and I'm making sure that I'm covering everything very nicely. Also what I like about um, the um, applying clear acrylic, it really helps the ombre become nice and soft. Um, if initially you're worried that it's a little bit too harsh, just add some um, clear acrylic on top and it always just softens up that nice and gives the ombre a velvety look. I went ahead and applied the rest of the clear acrylic on the rest of my nails off camera. I went ahead with my hand file on the rest of my nails. Um, and at this point, I'm just leveling up that apex and I'm making sure that the nails look nice and crisp. I went ahead and did this for the rest of my nails off camera and this is how they turned out. Now I'm going in with my tiny buffing block. I'm using the rough side first, then flipping it over and yeah, doing the softer grit on the nails as well. There's something about the smaller um buffing block there's just something about it because when i'm done my nails my acrylic nails are always so smooth and i've never been able to achieve this kind of smoothness before so do definitely try the smaller buffing blocks they really really um do give some great results Once I was done buffing all my nails, I quickly went and washed them and applied some lotion. And this is how they turned out after buffing. How pretty does that look? I, I'm telling you, there's something about the small buffing block. They are so smooth. Now it's time for the nail art. I quickly went off camera and did the index finger because I just wanted to get the hang of it. I did have to watch a few tutorials on it just to make sure I get the concept. And now I'm going to show you guys how I did um, on how I did the artwork on my middle finger. One thing I will say helped uh, in the tutorial I watched. Um, was that you always start with the C and the C is facing upside down like the letter C is almost like you're writing a C but that's facing upside down hope that makes sense 
and then you build the rest of the nail art around that C so that worked out very very well and also I noticed that this is almost like the flame design for all nail art you know like if you do a flame it doesn't really look like a flame nail art if it doesn't have this one detail so it kind of has to have that middle fork you know <laughs> and then you build the rest of your flames around it um, so yeah I'm really really happy with how this turned out So once I was happy with that, I popped my nail in the lamp for 60 seconds and this is how the nails turned out after I did all of them. I must say the thumb is my favorite. That minty, that ombre in the background and then the minty um, flame at the top, it looks stunning. Now I'm going to go in and apply my velvet matte top coat. I do want to say okay, I should have applied um, no wipe top coat first, then apply the velvet matte because it made the nail art bleed you know I don't know if that's the right word but it yeah as I was dragging the brush down I noticed that it was removing some of the nail art which was really annoying because I painstakingly painted these nails but I had to continue because I had already started and I was too afraid if I wipe it off you know it might come off altogether so that was annoying so I do want to say definitely apply no wipe top coat first and then go in with the matte. I had to painstakingly go in as you can see and like kind of like you know push everything back where it's supposed to be and I cured the nails for 60 seconds in my LED lamp and this is how the nails turned out really really nice the matte ah uh, it just yeah they had to be matte like there's something about the matte and the ombre and the nail art in the in the you know in the foreground and it, it all looked really really nice i do want to say that the inspiration for this set came from pinterest i'm not really sure who the actual nail new tech is and i'm also not sure whether the person who posted it is the person that actually did the nail art but this is where i got it from i wish the actual nail artist had you know left a watermark on the picture 
and this is the final result you guys how stunning does this set look oh my word i'm so so in love with these they came out really really well i couldn't stop staring at them um and this is the end of the video you guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please click on the subscribe button click that like button as well and please leave a comment down below i'm still struggling with the uploading schedule but i'm working on it this definitely one once a week for now i'm just struggling on which day which weekday to post um, but once i get a good grip on it i promise i'll be consistent um, i hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are i'll definitely see you next week bye guys